Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Uh, today I want to talk about is tea acidic or alkaline. Uh, this topic actually spun off my dentist visit. When I was there, I noticed uh, on the wall there was a chart saying that black tea's pH is four, and I was shocked. Uh, because that sounds pretty strong and uh, not very tea friendly. And we always, uh, when we talk about tea, we say tea is good for uh, the oral health, the uh, teeth health, because uh, tea has the fluorides in it and the tea is uh, antibacterial. So is it time for me to update my knowledge? We'll see. If this is your first time here, hello, my name is Jen. At Gen Tea, we specialize in fine tasting great Chinese tea. Uh, in this YouTube channel, we do videos about how to brew various teas, some behind the stage of uh, tea processing, tea traveling, and many, many more. So if you are also a tea lover, please consider subscribing and uh, hit the notification bell so that you are notified as soon as we have new content. Before we dive in, I just want to share a little side story. A while back, I, sh uh, I started a poll on Instagram asking tea is uh, acidic or alkaline, and the result seems to be 50-50. Upon reflection, I realized that both sides are correct uh, because my wording wasn't very like clear. Yes, I was saying that a tea is alkaline, and tea is acidic. Well, how could that be true? If you look at it from the metabolic waste perspective, tea is alkaline food. But if you just measure the uh, pH of the tea liquor, tea is acid. So when I was uh, looking into this uh, uh, tea pH uh, issue, I googled and one of the snippets actually shows that a green tea's pH level is like a seven something to the alkaline side, and that is just not true. Tea liquor is acidic. And in this whole video, we're only talking about tea liquor's pH uh, side, not the metabolic waste side of tea. So there are over 40 different organic acids in tea. For example, sorbic acid, um, citric acid, oxalic acid, malic acid, tannic acid, and of course, EGCG. And all these organic compounds play major parts in the taste, the color, and the aroma of the tea. There are many factors that could uh, affect the acidity level of tea. Uh, for example, what cultivar this tea is. Uh, Huang Jingui is considered has a little bit higher uh, acid level. Origin also plays a part. Teas from fooding area usually have uh, less acidity in the tea. And how the tea is processed, like the tea type, would also have a major impact on the uh, pH level of the tea. And when we talk about uh, this impact, it is not uh, simply the more process, or the, the less acid, it's more like a change. For example, in black tea, this black tea process actually generates more organic acids. Oolong usually has a slightly less, then green tea have a little bit lesser, then dark tea is considered quite mild. As tea lovers, we also affect the uh, tea pH levels. Uh, for example, how much tea leaf we put in, uh, what's the brewing temperature, and how long do we steep the leaves. These all has mild effect on the tea's pH level. To some extent, the pH level of a tea can reflect the quality of a tea. Of course, we're talking about within the same tea, like comparing, say, 10 dragon wells, not saying comparing dragon well vis-a-vis -vis Tie Guan Yin. Uh, usually, the more tender the leaves is, 
the milder acidic it is, and the more mature the leaves become, usually it contains a higher level of acid. However, this kind of increase is not a simple increase in every acid. For example, oxalic acid actually dropped by almost 50% from the one leaf, one bud to the more mature leaves. Uh, same with uh, tea polyphenol. The first leaf of the tea plant contains the highest amount of tea polyphenol. So let's come back to this chart in the dentist's office. Black tea 4.2, iced tea 2.9, why? I don't really understand. Is it temperature or is it the sugar in iced tea? Uh, if you know why, please comment. But this chart really make me wonder, what's the pH of my daily tea? So I measured it. I chose a digital display tool because it's easy to read compared to the strips. This avoids uh, lighting, camera, or screen display differences interfering with the reading. And of course, this is not a science lab measurement. Um, the purpose of this is mostly to satisfy my curiosity. During this uh, data collecting <laughs> process, I try to cover all six tea types. This also includes a few tea bags from the grocery store labeled TB. I usually have tea in the Gongfu tea style or brew it in a thermos. And this is what I did for this measurement. If you see the letter T, it means this cup was the thermos brew. As for Gongfu brewing, I collected usually the second or the third infusion, which is usually considered the richest brew. The water I used for all these teas is Ottawa tap water, Brita filtered. This is not a recommendation, but simply uh, informing, like telling you what water I used. Same with the tea. Uh, though I take a picture of the tea leaf, mark the tea name and its uh, pH level, it doesn't mean that all the tea with this name has this identical pH level. Any observations? Well, leave a comment below, I'd love to know. At least for me, it seems that my daily tea is not as acid as the ominous chart in the dentist's office, and I'm super happy about that. Another thing I wanted to add is that you cannot taste the pH level of a tea. What I mean is, you know, sometimes when we taste a tea, we say, oh, this tea is a little bit tart, or I seem to taste more uh, acid in the tea. It doesn't necessarily mean that this tea is more acidic than some other teas. Well, thank you for staying with me. I hope this video is interesting and uh, you know, if you have anything to add that I didn't mention or any more questions, feel free to leave that in the comment below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and consider and share with your tea friends. And it's not a bad idea to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so that you can stay tuned with us. Until next time, keep steeping.